today I'm showing you my de-shunted microwave oven transformer. This is my biggest microwave oven transformer yet. Um, I was originally using that in my quad microwave oven transformer stack thing, but um, it couldn't handle the full four mods. It kept on arcing over. I ended up killing two mods, that being one of them, but I was actually able to repair that one. And the other one I am in the process of turning into a high current transformer. Um, I just recently de-shunted these mods, but this one somehow I happened to scratch the secondary, so as soon as I turn it on, I can see little sparks in there. And it's not a pleasant sight. So right now I only have dual mots. This one's dead. Or this one's working. This one's working. This one's being bypassed. And uh, I'm going to replace this one with this. And I'm definitely going to need to put all those in uh, oil for insulation. And I don't know what I'm going to do about a fourth transformer. I could use this one, but this one's so small it overheats in like just two arcs. And with four, it would definitely die. So, here's comparison. Well, since this one has windings up and down, let's make it a fair comparison at least. There. That is definitely a big difference. Yeah, it's just, there's no way I'm using this dinky little one. Um, I think this thing's only rated 700 watts. You get like 3 inch arcs out of it and then it overheats. Okay, anyways, moving along with this one. This one is one I repaired from my quad, which now is only dual. It arced over from the, I think it was the primary to the core, because... Why? I don't know. I thought it was the secondary arcing to the core, but because that seems more logic, but apparently it wasn't. So I got the die grinder, I cut all this open, cut it on the side again, I pulled out the primary, found out where it was arcing over, um, taped around it, insulated it, and popped it back in there. But during the process, I removed the shunts and replaced it with two windings of 8-gauge wire. Why I did that, I don't know. It's high current. I can get some pretty nice little sparks out of there if I cross it against a screwdriver or something. It's not even really worth it. I should actually just take that out. But it doesn't interfere with it like a shunt would, so it's still technically de-shunted. Um, so there's the secondary, I put a couple wax drops on there, and, yeah, so you can see the white film and black on there where it was arcing over, um, all these weird little spots and stuff, that is from when I put it in the vise to hold it when I was taking it apart. Let's see the other side of it. It's just a typical microwave oven transformer, except it is ginormous. Um, it's definitely my heaviest transformer, too. So I'm going to show you it working now. Um, first, I'm going to show you the low current feature I added to it. Let's move that, those resonant capacitors out of the way. And let's get a better view. Looks crooked, but it's not. Anyway, going to be sparking right there. So let's plug her in. Low current winding test right here. It's pretty cool, huh? totally like welding 
except it's just engraving this and it's definitely really warm already so let's do it some more right whoa Yeah, those are some pretty big engravings in here. But I still have to show you the arcs. So right now it's minus capacitors, and that wire is not close to the wall. There's at least two feet space between each side of the wall. It's just how it looks. So on this messy table, I'll try to show you. Okay, no capacitors. The first test. <laughs> Those are nice arcs. They're very bright. They're way brighter than my triple mat sack. Just to give you an idea. Okay, that's not a pleasant sound. It sounds like there's a taser inside there just sparking. And I do know that sound. That sound means there's sparking from either the secondary to the core or you name it. But that those noises, those little sparks, lead to arcs and arc overs and those destroy your mot. And uh hope to see you in the next video. Subscribe and uh give a thumbs up. Add me to friends if you'd like and have a nice day.